What's up, world? It's Young Dion, and I'm back with another Kingdom Hearts 3 discussion and theory, baby. Let's get it popping. All right, y'all. Today we will be talking about what would have happened if Master Xehanort would have possessed Sora. Some crazy shit. Crazy. Crazy motherfucking shit. Blow that bitch up, nigga. Blow the smithereens. Alright y'all, but like I was saying, okay we all know in Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, Organization 13 was trying to lure Sora in so Sora would fall asleep and succumb to his darkness because he has no control whatsoever over it, which sucks for Sora, regardless of how strong it is, but the thing about it is, Xehanort almost had Sora, and I'm going to tell you why. But like I was saying, Master Xehanort almost had Sora. Okay, and the thing about it is, we know that Sora fought Xemnas, and it was a trap. But in that trap, Xehanort took a look into Sora's heart, and the people that Xehanort seen, and Sora, was Vin, Terra, and Aqua. Okay? So at that point, Master Xehanort knew that Vin was resting in Sora's heart. Because Master Xehanort's been looking for Vin. And that's another reason why they really tried to get Sora. Because they figured out Vin was inside of Sora's heart. Now, with that being said, Vin is asleep. Let's say worst case scenario happened. Let's say Sora lost the fight to Xemnas, which would never happen, but let's say Sora lost that fight to Xemnas. Xemnas beat him down. Riku was defeated by young Xehanort. So he couldn't save Sora. And Lee was held up by Isa. Just to prevent any type of interruptions in the ceremony ritual 13th vessel for Master Xehanort so with this worst case scenario happening or if it happened yes Sora definitely would have became uh, a Sora Xehanort or fucking Sora Nort which is the same shit Sora Nort that's what I would call him okay and if this happened, this is horrible. Because if Sora was possessed, and if Xehanort got him, and Riku and fucking Mickey and Lee couldn't save him, that would mean that Sora would succumb to darkness, obviously. And not only would he succumb to darkness, Master Xehanort would engulf Sora within his own darkness, because Sora couldn't even handle his darkness. And that's how Master Xehanort does. He engulfs his victims with his darkness because they succumb to their own darkness. And then with that happening, it'd be bad, but the last defense mechanism that Sora would have would be Roxas. Y'all see this fight going on right here on the screen, right? If Sora was to get possessed, Roxas is the one that is in Sora's heart that is more awakened than everybody else you know he, he came out of Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2 for a minute and then fought Sora and then they fought each other and then they created the Keyblade that I'm using the two become one Keyblade with the ability of light and darkness okay with that being said Roxas would have had to take on Master Xehanort inside of Sora's heart now the thing about it is I don't know if Roxas would have been able to hold off Master Xehanort and defeat Master Xehanort because we don't know if Roxas succumbs to the darkness. I don't think he does, but he might. And from what I've seen, Roxas lost to Riku Ansem because 
when um, Roxas fought Riku, okay, he beat Riku down for a minute. He beat him a little bit. That was cool. But then once Riku transformed into Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness, Roxas was immediately choked out by the Guardian, okay? If Roxas couldn't even handle the Guardian and Riku being an Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness's state, the weakest Xehanort, there's no way Roxas would have been able to fight Master Xehanort with Sora possessed. That would have been a fucking overload in power. It would have been too much power. Okay. Roxas wouldn't have stood a chance. And that's a horrible scenario because with Sora going down as the 13th vessel, not only do they get Sora, they would get Roxas. Roxas would get engulfed in Xehanort's darkness. Okay. Not to mention, Vin. He is directly connected to Sora. Vin is asleep. That means that this whole process of Xehanort possessing Sora would have fucked with Vin's resurrection. He wouldn't have been resurrected properly. Okay? He would have been tainted. Vin would have been tainted and engulfed in Xehanort's darkness before he was even resurrected like he would be in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is horrible. Because not only would Master Xehanort have Vin under his control, or Sora, not only would Master Xehanort have Sora under his control, he would have Vin's heart engulfed in his darkness, he would have Zeon's heart engulfed in his darkness, and he would have Roxas's heart engulfed in his darkness. Not to mention, we know Vanitas is connected to Roxas. Okay? That means there's a good possibility that in Roxas's memories, Vanitas is there. The same way Vin was in Sora's memories, maybe Roxas is in, maybe Vanitas is in Roxas's memories. Because we all have to remember, they're all connected. Roxas is connected to Vanitas, Vin, and Sora. They're all connected. So if Vanitas' memories weren't in Sora, because Vanitas is the missing darkness that Master Xehanort wants to reclaim, the one that young Xehanort spoke of, okay? But instead of Vanitas, they found Vin. And we saw how Sora became Nightmare Sora and Riku had to save him, but Riku would have never saved him. Sora would have been trapped in the darkness. Okay. Roxas would have lost the fight in Sora's heart against Master Xehanort because the darkness would have been too great. Okay. Vin's heart would have been engulfed in the freaking Xehanort's darkness. And then. Roxas would be engulfed as well. Zeon would be doomed before she even came back. And Vanitas, they would also get Vanitas. Master Xehanort would also get Vanitas if he possessed Sora because they're all connected. Okay, it's like killing five birds with one stone. Okay, if Master Xehanort was to possess Sora and make Sora the 13th vessel, that means that. He would engulf and capture Vin's heart, Roxas's heart, Zeon's heart, and Vanitas's heart. Okay, they all would have been doomed to Xehanort without much of a choice. That's a horrible scenario. And that's exactly what Master Xehanort wanted. And if that would have happened, it would have been lights out for the Guardians of Light. There's no way the Guardians of Light would have been able to fight that. You know, that's too many people engulfed in Master Xehanort's darkness within Sora's heart. Sora would have been forever doomed just like Terra. No escape. None whatsoever. And we'd be scratching our heads like, who are the seven Guardians of Light? You know, we wouldn't know because that would have been the worst case scenario. Master Xehanort would have had his 13 Secrets of Darkness. And we still would have been short. So it would have been crazy. But, yeah. If that was to happen, that would be a horrible living nightmare for our protagonists, heroes, Riku, Mickey. Goofy, Donald, 
Hell, I think it's so bad that Yin Sid would probably even have to get involved. And we know he's a retired Keyblade Master, but Yin Sid trained Mickey. It would have been so bad that he probably would have had to come back in, get his Keyblade, and fight. And you never know, it may happen with Yin Sid. He may come, he may fight. For all we know, what the fuck? If Sora was possessed by Xehanort and captured by Master Xehanort as a 13th vessel, for all we know, Yin Sid could have filled that seventh Guardian of Light member since Sora would have been doomed and gone to the darkness. Now that would have been a crazy alternative story. But y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think below. Because I love to interact with y'all. It's some pretty hot stuff. You know, this shit's interesting. I fucking love Kingdom Hearts. I can't wait till Kingdom Hearts 3 comes. But y'all stay tuned for some more videos. I'm gonna have some more videos coming y'all's way. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And please do not forget to click on that bell button. Holla at your boy. But yeah, it would have been crazy. Riku would have had to step up to the plate. But if Riku lost to Xehanort, that leads another horrible scenario. If Riku would have lost to Xehanort, Riku would have been lost and doomed and trapped into the darkness under Xehanort's control or Xehanort's heartless's control, either one. He would have been under Xehanort's control if he would have lost to Xehanort. Because then they could have got Sora. Master Xehanort could have got Riku. Like, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, this story would have been fucking a nightmare if Sora would have became the 13th vessel. Because a lot of shit would have happened. Riku would have lost to young Xehanort. Okay. Riku would be fucking trapped into the darkness once again with his best friend Sora. I mean, we, would, we really would have been in a serious bind. Like, that, seriously. They had to keep Sora safe. Tetsuo and Nomura had to make it to where Master Xehanort does not get Sora. Because if he did, there's no way we would have recovered from that. None. No way whatsoever. Like, we had to have Sora. This shit just crazy to think about, though. been in a bind looking for some seven guardians of light like this shit would have been crazy but yeah I'm just thinking about it man just imagine Sora being gone to the darkness becoming a Xehanort vessel okay and not only would Sora become a Xehanort vessel there's many ways they could have gotten Sora what if Master Xehanort would have chose to extract the darkness from Sora's heart? And what I mean by this is, do y'all remember in Kingdom Hearts 3DS Dream Drop Distance, when Sora was speaking to young Xehanort, and young Xehanort told Sora, we want you or what's left of you. And we all know that anti-Sora is what's left of Sora. Because Roxas became his own person. So Roxas is no longer Sora's nobody, okay? So since Roxas is no longer Sora's nobody, whatever is left of Sora would have to be Sora's darkness, the anti-form. And Sora got that transformation in Kingdom Hearts 1. When the reason why Sora is able to go anti-form and have his own darkness is because in Kingdom Hearts 1 after he beat Ansem Riku Sora stabbed his heart with the Keyblade of Heart to free Kairi okay and once Sora did this he turned himself into a heartless and once Sora turned himself into a heartless he gave himself his own darkness 
And by doing that, that spawned up the anti-form that we see in Kingdom Hearts 2. 